I am going to speak to you about a syndrome called tethered cord syndrome. This is an unusual condition which unfortunately is often missed leading to quite serious problems in children. In children as the spinal cord develops in a peculiar manner, when you start off both the bone and the spinal cord end at almost the same level and as the child's height increases the spinal cord instead of ending right at the bottom slowly ascends upwards so that there is quite a big gap between the end of the spinal cord and the end of the bone by the time the child is born and subsequently by the time the child grows into an adult. Now sometimes during development instead of the spinal cord ascending upwards it gets tethered and stuck to the bone and skin and this is what is called the tethered cord and this leads to a syndrome or a number of symptoms or problems which could uh, manifest in a variety of ways. Sometimes in the initial stages there may be nothing. All that the parent may see is that there is a tiny little dimple in the lower part of the back or there may be a little tuft of hair or there may be a tiny swelling and none of this creates any big problem in the child and is so most often ignored. As the child grows older sometimes they may complain of back pain and that should be taken seriously because it's very unusual for a child to complain of, no, complain of back pain. The other things which can indicate this problem is if the foot is abnormally developed or the size of the legs are different or the strength in one leg is different from the other, the child is not able to walk properly. The other thing or the other problem in which this symptom can, this syndrome can manifest is in urine problems, urine control problems. So you can have uh, difficulty controlling urine or it continuously leaks out or the Finally, the other problems which can happen is as the child grows older, the child instead of running and walking normally starts to limp. Now if any of these things happen, you should do an MRI of the spine and that will show you exactly what is the problem. And this fortunately can be corrected by surgery which releases the attachment between the spinal cord and the bone or the skin. And once this is done, the potential for new problems to develop such as urinary incontinence or weakness in the legs disappears and most often children are able to continue on to a very normal life. Thank you.